I can see it. Hey, Corbin. How are you doing, Micah? <laughs> Feel calm. <laughs> I'm Corbin. I'm Alexis. My God. Rick! And you can follow Tony on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Hi, Ashley. Oh, no. And thank you for supporting us on Patreon and follow us on Facebook Twitter accounts. Too. And today, we are late. I am sorry. What's happening? What's happening? It, but uh, this is the trailer for Dream Girl. Oh, I'm so glad we're doing this because all the stupid babies were messaging us and saying, we meant to do. We meant to do it the other day. We really did. And then we totally forgot. We totally forgot. <laughs> because we're stupid. That's how we do it here on this channel. Our stupid reactions. And stupid. it's with uh, Ayushman Karana. Uh, uh, so we love him. Skeetle bites. From, we do. Uh, uh, Art 15 and Anda Anda Han. And yes, I'm saying it correctly for all you new babies. Yeah, so go buy an egg. Oh, because. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> See, we know. Didn't somebody say they made a... What'd she say she made yes, a... Yes, uh, who we met in Miami. Yeah, what'd she say? She made a what? Something in the kitchen with eggs having to do with that, and she yeah, like, some loved dish. it the most. Yeah, a dish. A, she's now created a dish and called it the Anda Anda Yeah, because it means egg, and so it has, like, egg in it. Yeah. I thought it was funny. Alexis is impressed. I can <laughs> tell. Here we go. <laughs> Absolutely. But Tootsie is the first one that comes to mind. Is the classic with Dustin Hoffman, Tootsie. Which, if you haven't seen that, highly, highly, highly recommend it. And he actually gets very successful pretending to be a woman. I'm sorry if the audio has been terrible this entire time. <laughs> the fan was on. Ruh-roh. Yeah. Ruh-roh. <laughs> oh, boy. Stop. Um, so, 
if it's done correctly, it could be very funny. Um, and Mrs. Doubtfire is another one yes. where a guy's pretending to be a woman. But I don't know if this is just a guy pretending to be a woman or if he... It looked like he was actually like a, a straight man who enjoys dressing up as a female and also talking like one. Yeah, and I don't know that that's necessarily the case. I think he just maybe... It looked like that's, that was the case. It looks like he actually, like, is, this is his, what he does for fun. Could be. Not like yeah. him just doing it for money. It looks like, like, almost um, breaking gender norms kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Like one of those. And it wouldn't surprise me if Andy was, like, the first one to actually make a film about it. Yeah. Um, because obviously that's a it's, it's a big they made a me too joke which was funny that was very <laughs> funny. and I think there was a joke at the very very end that was a joke on wordplay in Hindi that we wouldn't have picked up on pretty sure with or plenty and dog I think there was something we missed but anyway it looks and I I enjoyed a lot watching him get to uh, open himself up as an actor and and become a bit more animated and expressive because he's been quite reserved in the two things we've seen him in. Yeah. Uh, even even as a piano player artist, he was he was a pretty internalized guy, mm -hmm. and then he was surely that he was very still and quiet beautifully in the last film. So go ahead, Micah. Micah, Micah, go ahead, big man. What does that say? Rom com movie directed by Raj Shahnilia. Nice. <laughs> Stars Ayeshman Karana. Good. Who plays a dream girl. In every love story, there is always one trying to win the heart of the other who could be the dream girl. It's a little vague. It is very vague. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess on purpose. Uh, in but, the but clearly, these people are falling in love with him. And it gets way out of his control. It looks like he probably thinks this is a really fun idea, and it just gets completely out of his control. Did you see VJ Raz in there? Yes, that's when I pointed and said, "Hey, where? Which one? The guy on the phone who's a cop. The military guy. The military guy. He's on the phone and he crawls on the table oh, talking to him. Oh, I did not recognize him. Yeah, Micah said, "Yeah, we know him." Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm upset that I didn't recognize him. Well, I do love VJ Raz. Yes, we do. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, yeah, it's very vague. It has somebody from Ragnar Vasanti. Um, there was one other guy, maybe I did recognize him, and that's who I, I was like, I recognize somebody, but I didn't, I couldn't pinpoint it that it was VJ Raz, which is strange, because I can usually recognize. Also, what decade does this take place in? Because clearly, sex calls, or sex phone, or whatever they're called, there hasn't been a thing for, I think it's still going on. Is it? I think so. I don't know. I remember in like stopped. the 90s and the early 2000s. Like, yeah, I can't imagine that that's ever going to be. But phone call? Yeah. That's the, that was before well, the think, internet. I think actual lines have stopped being a thing. Yeah. Like phone lines to call? Yeah. They may, I know they they may used, be. They used to have phone lines where you call and yeah. talk to somebody. Oh, yeah. yeah. Before Sexy. the internet. It's basically sexting, basically. 100%. Yeah. Talking on the phone. 100%. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I actually... Don't, I don't know what decade this takes place in because... I actually think it probably is still the case because with, I mean, getting really dark in your intentions... That's something that somebody could do and it wouldn't be traced as easily if they were going on websites. They could make phone calls and make sex calls. Well, I understand that, but yeah. I'm, I'm asking the market for it. I, I, I actually think this is contemporary. I mean, clearly, clearly. it's got the Me Too reference. Yeah. I guess, so yeah, I think it's true. contemporary. That's true. Yeah, well, I, I, it's interesting if it's done correctly and it's not like just... Um... I'm assuming they're not just going to make an insulting film. No, I hope it's got a... like um... to Tootsie's got a really great message yeah. to it. Uh, so... But yeah, yeah. Uh, what you what you guys think? Looks good. Looks interesting. <laughs> I agree. Totally. <laughs> Tell us exactly what you thought about it, word for word, in a paragraph. At, at, like the moment you, it started, what were you, what were you thinking? And then in the middle, also, what were you thinking? And then at the end. Have you guys seen her use in Karana or anything yet? Uh, yes. What? You, she shot Hunter Hunter. Oh, she did? No, okay. I didn't. I know. Yeah, you did. No, I thought I that was Ashley. Ashley. Oh, Ashley. sorry. Ashley. It was Ashley. Undone. It was Ashley. Undone. 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 My bad. So, no, they haven't seen him in nope. anything. No? But you've nope. seen. You haven't seen VJ. Yes, and Gully Boy. That's where they first saw him. He saw Gully Boy. Yeah. They also saw was, he was also Wasn't he in the, the, the spy one? No. The spy? The, no, Razi? Yeah. No, with Ali Abad. He wasn't. He's wasn't. No, he wasn't. No. no, but you saw him. You saw him in Delhi Boy. That's where you know him from. What else yeah. is he? He's. Uh, he was in Delhi Belly, but you didn't see Delhi Belly. Yes, I did. Yeah, oh, she, saw she Deli did. Deli. So pff, good memory. Did it? Micah see it too. He was the main bad guy in Delhi Belly. Micah saw it too. 
What is that one? The funny one? The like really the funny one with the three best friends with and they the live poop. in the same apartment. Yeah, poop. yeah, with the poop. Does it start in an airplane? No, that's three idiots. Oh. And you haven't seen that, so how would you know? Because you watched We've it. We've tried to start it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Riveting. <laughs>